What can we learn from the results of the special election in Georgia? That's the race for a House seat from the Atlanta area that drew a lot of money and a lot of attention from Democrats and Republicans around the country. Instead of the Democrat winning the seat outright, we have a June runoff between a Democrat and a Republican. What does this race tell us? Well, three things. One, Democrats might be able to take the House, but it's not going to be easy. This was a district that they need to put in play if they're going to make big gains next year. Donald Trump won this district by only 1.5 percent, and Democrats put more than $8 million into their candidate, John Ossoff, and yet he fell short of an outright win. Second, Republicans do have reasons to worry. Sure, they forced a runoff in this race, but John Ossoff, the Democrat, is a 30-year-old political novice. He doesn't even live in the district. He grew up there, but he couldn't vote for himself on Tuesday. And yet, he raised a lot of money and made the race very competitive. Not enough energy to put him over the top, but there's Democratic energy out there, and Republicans need to keep that in mind. Third, there's room in the political system, after all, for people to run in the center. John Ossoff, he ran as a Democrat, but not as the kind of fiery, Bernie Sanders resistance style Democrat who's trying to channel anti-Trump anger. The Republican, Karen Handel, also did not embrace Donald Trump and kept some distance from him. This is a swing district. There are fewer of them in the country, but they still exist. And politicians who want to run in these districts will have to find a way to navigate between the sharpest ideological edges of the two parties. Now there's one more thing that we learned from this special election in Georgia, and that is that Donald Trump remains at the center of everything in politics. Whether they were picking a Republican or a Democrat on the ballot, voters told us that their vote was a sign of support or opposition to Donald Trump.